So today I'll be making a punch and glove. This is what I've done so far. This is the front of the rug. And this is the back of the rug. I will be telling you all what you will need if you want to start making rugs like me. So first you're going to need a frame. I got my frame from Michael's. What I did was buy a canvas and I took off the white part and I used it as a frame. Next, you're going to need monk's cloth. I got my monk my I got I got my monk's cloth from Joann's and I I also brought my frame in so they can cut it the size of it so I make sure I don't need no more. So I got it cut to fit the um frame exactly. It really didn't cost that much. I'm going to say it was around $11 for a couple of yards. Next, you're going to need a punch needle and threader. I got both of them. Well, they came together. I bought it from Michael's. You're going to need this. If you don't got this, then you can't even get do to. Yeah. Next, you're going to need some yarn. Whatever yarn you like, any color. The brands that I be using, this is one. I got this one from Walmart. I never tried this one, but this, where did I get this from? It's a popular place, Pop Shelf. I got this from Pop Shelf, and I also use the other kinds. When I, when I get it, I'll show y'all. You're also going to need a projector to do the outline, of course. And am I missing anything? That's about it. Once you got all that together, you're good. Oh, you're going to need a, a um stapler, a punch stapler. I forgot what it's called. And you're going to have to staple the monk's cloth on the canvas. And other than that, you're good. That's all you would need. So now I'm going to get into making it. So let me show y'all first. I will be doing this side. I will be doing this one blue. This is the blue that I will be using. I got this yarn from Hobby Lobby. I got this yarn from Hobby Lobby. The color is bright blue and I'll be doing it right here. So first you get your punch needle and then you'll get your threader. This is how the punch needle looks. So when you get your threader, you're gonna put it in this hole right here. Oh God, I can't see it, okay. You're gonna put it in that hole right there. Make sure it goes all the way down and you're gonna see this end sticking out. After that, when you do yarn, you don't pull from the middle. You pull from the one of the ends if it's a good piece of yarn because sometimes I don't be finding the end like that. Oh, I found it. So what you'll do, I didn't find it. That was from the middle. Let me see this side. Oh, I got it on this side. We're going to do it from this side. So what you'll do, you'll put it out. You see? It comes out from the top like that. So when you do that, you'll put the yarn in here. And then you'll pull it through the top and boom. You don't want to lose this side. I advise you to put it somewhere you know you're going to find it. After that, what I like to do is I like to pull out some of the yarn because if you don't while you're punch needling, it's just gonna be the gap because you don't have enough you don't have enough yarn pulled out. So I pull out some of the yarn. Boom. We're gonna put it back here. So this is the side that I punch needle. This is the side that you will punch needle. The back side. So what you will do. Can y'all see it? We're looking at this part right here. So what you'll do is you'll punch it in. Y'all see it? And then you'll pull the yarn out. Hold on, let me pull it out for y'all. It's pulled out. And then you watch the um, punch needle go like that. Y'all see it? 
Let me come closer. It's so hard to do it and hold it. Like, oh my gosh. But when it gets to the top, y'all will see it better. Okay, so now that I showed you guys how to do it, the rest of the punch needling will be in time lapse. I will only be doing this part today, so hope you enjoy it. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high. Tell them dim the lights down right now, put me in the mood. I'm talking about dark room perfume. Go, go. I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Mm. And I know you taste this a little bit. Mm, high maintenance. Mm. Everybody else basic. You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloom in the dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you. Dedicated to the fun sex, your natural hair and your soft skin and your big ass and that sundress. Ooh. Okay, so now that I finish, this is how it looks on the back side of the rug. And this is the front side. Now I'm going to cut the yarn. So what you do is you hold it. I wish I could show y'all, but hold on. What you do okay I just cut it whatever so this is how it looks on the back on the front side and now I'm going to cut these little pieces the strings so this is how it looks this is the front side Hold on, let me clean up the front side too. So basically all that I'm cutting is these. Anything that's sticking out like this one, we're cutting it. And no, it's not going to mess the rug up. It's just to make it look neater. So let me show y'all again. This is the front side of the rug. Right here, this is the one I just did. And this is the back side. Okay, and that is all for today. Comment below what color I should do next. Comment if I should go in order, or if I should just skip petals and do whichever one I want. Comment how you think I should do it. Like what you saw in the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I drop my videos. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment what color I should do next. And until next time. So this is the outfit of the day. Yes. Today I will be packaging an order. I won't be going out. It's raining real bad outside. We're going to try to avoid that. So today I will only be packaging an order. Waiting on the mailman. And that's about it. So this is the canvas I will be packaging today. My cost canvas.
this is how it looks Okay, so now I'm going to package my order. This is order number 1483. She placed three orders. I shipped out two. This is her last order. I decided to ship this one separately due to the canvas size. Let me show you. So this is the canvas. The size is 10 by 20. And now I'm going to saran wrap it. Okay, so now I got my piece of bubble wrap that I'll be using to bubble wrap the canvas. But first, I need to cut some tape. I can't find my other tape, so we gotta make work with this one right here. So now I gotta find where it starts. Listen, if the mailman don't come today, I'm gonna be so mad. And it is the fact that mail runs. I be scheduling a pickup. Why are you not picking up my packages? Like, what did I do to you for you to not pick up my packages? I put, I scheduled a pickup, and I put knock on door, and it says slash ring the doorbell. I put on, I, I stopped my door. I put the doorbell, do not work. So you have no other option but to knock on the door. Don't be calling, don't be knocking. Like one day I was I was like watching for the real man, and like I I can be hearing like I I know what this car, the truck sound like so I know when it's coming and when it's not, but I don't be hearing it every day. But one day I heard it and I'm like yeah the man man coming. So you know me, I'm trying to see if he gonna do what he's supposed to do. Knock knock on the door, y'all. While I'm looking out the window, he pull up to the mailbox, put the mail in the mailbox, and he drive off. So you know me. I opened the door and I meet him outside. And I'm like, sir, you supposed to knock on my door. He was like, oh, I don't have the paper that said I'm supposed to. And you know me, I got my phone in my hand. I said, boop, 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 this right here, like this, the pickup right here on my phone. He was like, oh, I'm sorry. I just don't have the paper, so I didn't know I'm supposed to knock on your door. Yeah, okay. They be pissing me off, like, real bad. Like, what's the point of me scheduling the pickup if you're not going to pick my packages up? Don't piss me off. But, yeah, I'm going to bubble at this on canvas. So I bubble wrap the canvas. This is how it looks. Now I'm gonna cut me a piece of gift wrap. Yes, I'm still on my Christmas gift wrap. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And I'm gonna keep using it until it's done. But I'm gonna cut me a piece of gift wrap. Be right back. So now I gotta cut more tape. This is why I like the other tape better because like I actually could just tear it off and keep it going. This I gotta cut it like. Piece by piece by piece. I don't remember where I put my tape. I don't know if I ran out or if I misplaced it. I just know I cannot find it. This order, by the way, it does not come with paint. My 10 by 10, my 10 by 20 canvases do not come with paint because I don't want to take the risk of it opening while it's being shipped to you. So I choose not to include paint in it. The most that I will include is the paint marker. And the paint markers they come sealed i actually want to catch me going to the mailman in my vlog like i want him in, I, not I, I don't want him in my vlog i want me like you know what i'm trying to say oh now i'm going to the mailman and give him my packages to include it in my vlog that was, yeah so that's that's a goal for today if i don't get that in my vlog mm -hmm. let me put the scissors down mm. That's how I'm gonna feel. But yeah. Okay, I cut the tape. Now I'm gonna tape it up. I finished wrapping it. Now I'm gonna put it in the poly mailer. So when I wrap when I package my 10 by 20 canvases, I use two. So first I do it like this. I get it. I put it in there. And that's it. Hold on, let me get my business card. Yes, I got my business card. I also put that in there. After that, I tear this piece off. And I make sure it's actually on it. 
fold it, it's gonna look like that. And then I get the other one and I put it in this way. Boom. And then I do the same thing. I peel it off. Make sure it's closed on the side. And it is. Now I get my tape. And I go around it. So I put it right here. And I just go around it. shipping label which I have right here shipping label is added and I'm gonna add my fragile gel stickers I honestly feel like fragile gel stickers are very important because if one of these is not on your package you're gonna throw your packages around no questions asked you're gonna throw it around and that's just gonna be that but not with my package not with mine. So I got the fragile sticker on there. And that's it for today's video. If you like what you saw today, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want me to package your order, comment down below your order number and I will package it for YouTube. Thank you all for supporting my small business. I really appreciate it. And until next time.